what is up you guys i'm back with another video yeah i'm late i apologize but we here but before we get into this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell beside it and you know robin hood is giving away free stock that link is below in the description area if you don't have robin hood right now go in the description area and get download that app because when you download it they were gonna give you one free stock it's free you don't have to pay for it what's better than free right yeah go down there and get it but watch this whole video first let's go okay okay y'all see i am up ten dollars and fifty six cents which, yeah, it was probably more than that today. Yeah, probably was. I think so. Okay, my overall stock balance is $1,131.82. And I have invested a total of $1,000. My total gain is $131.82. So... What we're going to do is, we're going to try to sit on this $1,000 and see what can we gain with it, y'all. That's what we're going to do. And I'm going to update y'all. Y'all going to get videos every day. Long as you subscribe, tap that bell. That's it. You're going to get up uploads. And if you like these uploads, let me know in the comments okay okay y'all look what we have here we got antero i'm up twenty dollars and 88 cents and i'm almost yeah that's almost what i put in it so i'm on the verge of making all my money back plus some if it keeps going up i got 17 shares lab court it went down a little bit. Got one share of that, but I'm still in the positive. That's all that matters. You know, the stock is going to fluctuate. Flunctu but let me tell y'all this. I'm no type of stock advisor, analyst, financial advisor, anything like that. So if you decide to invest in stock, do that at your own risk. But I can tell you one thing. Research. Always research research nothing better than researching therefore you'll have the knowledge to know okay i'm gonna put my money in this stock you know that's what you gotta do that's what i do trust me el dorado it has went up tremendously see i only invested 15 dollars in here and i got one share and now i'm to the point where I feel like I may make beyond what I've invested. That's the goal, y'all. That is the goal. If it keep going up, that's what we want to do. We want it to go up. And y'all make sure if you do invest in stock, keep positive numbers. Keep positive numbers. Your positive have to outweigh your negatives at all time. Even if I mean if you losing a little bit here and there. You get you got to know that your positives will outweigh your negative. Beyond meat is going up a little bit. Going up. I feel like they're going up because like the meat plants and stuff like that shutting down. Antero meat screens. Let's see. I invested thirty three dollars in there, got ten shares, and I've gained twelve dollars. Which is going, it went down, but it's okay. Because I'm still in the positives. Bar it go. It's dropping slowly. Yeah. Board gaming. It's going up. I'm almost half of what I put in here. Go on up. MGM, Norwegian Cruise Line. Also going up. Uber is. Yeah, they using that a lot. American Airlines even going up. 
Let's see about overstock. Okay, they went up a little bit. I got two shares. Hmm, United States still went up 6%. I only invested $13. Got two shares to my total gain. It's $317, which is good. I like that. Energy transfer. Let's see how many shares of this I got. Okay, one share. I don't know. And after we look at my stocks here, see how much money I gain off of them today, we're going to go over to Robinhood app and check the after hours. So, like I said before, if you don't got the Robinhood app, it's in the description below. When you download it, you're going to get a free stock. You don't have to pay for it. Trust me. I'm going to show you when I go to Robinhood. Can it be grow? Okay. It trying, it trying. I like that. I like that cannabis industry. It's going up a little bit. Aurora. It goes up, it goes down, keep a flat line. I just want them to gain. I feel like when this take off, it's going to really just blow up. Ford, it's gaining two, went down two, but I still got 80 cents. I got five shares, and I think I purchased them Monday. Yeah. Plug power. Yeah, it went down. That's cool. I'm not in the negatives, though. General Electric, negative 15, well, 16 cents. Got three shop, three shares. But I think they're going to go up, you guys, just because of the ventilators and all of that. Um, dealing with this coronavirus stuff. Two shares, minus 19 is going up. But this is really going, I think it's going to really skyrocket. Because when they do, Legalized marijuana. It's going to be booming. Glaxo should have been going up today. They still trying to figure out a vaccine. But I think uh, Gilead might be the one releasing that. And I got take two. Yeah. I invested. I don't even have full share of that. It's only like it's one hundred and twenty-one dollars, but uh, that's okay. I only invested twenty dollars. AMC, which it did go up, but I bought it. Um, yeah, this morning, so I really didn't see that gain this morning. But if it continues, I'll see it because I feel like you know, people. I mean, people want to go back to the movies, do something. I feel like it's gonna go back up. What it? I'm, I feel like I'm gonna gain from it eventually. So I let it ride. Why didn't it patrolling? Y'all see, I reinvested in this seventy-five dollars. So I'm down three dollars and fifty-two cents now. I bought fifty-six shares, and y'all know I've been back and forth with why didn't it patrolling. Y'all already know. Now, look at the history. Back and forth, back and forth. Bought it, sold it, bought it, bought some more, bought some more. Had up to like mm, over a hundred and some shares. Then I bought some more, sold it. You know, I just been, I could have had about probably over three or four hundred shares. Just taking a wild guess, you know, but. We're going to see how that going to work out. If it go down, I may buy some more. Because I know I've been seeing y'all come in saying hold on to it and stuff like that. I'm going to hold on to this. And if it go down some more, I'll just buy some more. Yeah. And Chesapeake, it literally dropped today. $8. But, you guys, I'm going to show y'all when I get to Robinhood app, like, what the potential of Chesapeake Energy like I'm, I'm gonna show y'all that. So, 
Y'all don't have to keep y'all stock in if it dropping like this. You don't have to. That's just my preference. That's all. You make your decision on your stock. You know. Okay. Diamondback actually went up 16%. Wow. That's good. Got JetBlue, all them going up because, I mean, the airlines, people want to go. People just want to go. Boy, they need to wear a mask, though. That went up 15%. So the ones I'm watching are doing good, honestly. They're doing good now. I mean, the economy is going to be back rolling. So, if you want to invest in some stock, I suggest you, you know, do it this week. You don't have to invest $1,000 like me. That's just over a period of time. You can start off investing a dollar. You don't have to invest much. Just like you got some stocks cost a dollar, two dollars, five dollars. You know, you don't just have to go overboard. Because, like, I'm going to tell you, like, right now, I'm no type of millionaire. I don't really, I mean, I ain't got money to blow like that. I feel like it's just like a bank account. I mean, it's your money. You just don't want them to start, you know, taking from your money. That's it, you know. And I just try to prevent that from happening by doing my research before I even invest in stock. Like, I know sometimes when I wake up early, do y'all do these videos for y'all? They be dropping like, man. Like, that's why I be banking them so y'all can see that experience. And I just went to Marathon Patrolling, y'all. They really climbing up. I did have some. So, bought it and I sold it, you know. And it's okay. It would have been through the roof right now. But it's okay. And with this British... American tobacco. Hmm, it done went up some too. Yeah. See, Gilead is going to start rising. And if you don't have a stock in this, you know, I did, but I went ahead and sold it. It was dropping, actually. But, you know, y'all may want to check that out, read on that before you even before you even, you know, invest in it. Hurts. I was watching this. Someone said, was telling me about this, but I didn't ever buy into it. And it went down like 20%. That sucks. But if y'all see any stock that you all want to invest in or follow that's on my list, go ahead and do that. I wouldn't tell you not to because, you know, you pretty much can do whatever. But I would prefer if you guys do your research first. I always do your research. Okay, most traded monthly. Let's see. Facebook going up. They starting a lot of stuff on Facebook. Now they get they're gonna have it where people, celebrities can even live stream and you have to pay to watch them. I heard that on the radio. I'm like, dang, I was just saying that the other day. That the way the world is now. People will watch anything online. They can have a full-blown concert online on Facebook, make more money than they will actually make just doing it at a venue. Because you got a Beyonce, for example, got like over a hundred and some million. And she decided to do any type of live stream on Facebook, and all her fans come, and, and it'd be like $10. That's more money than you'll ever make. Visa going up because right now ain't no don't nobody want to use cash. They just want they just want a card. Swipe that card. Okay, the biggest daily movers, you guys. AMC really did rise up today. Norwegian Cruise Line, yeah. Noble Energy, ten dollars a share. When y'all go into the about me section, you can always click show more and read on it. But if I were y'all, I would just 
Google and keep Googling and keep Googling until I feel like, okay, I can invest in this. You know, we can always go by these numbers every day. This can be up like APAC up 22% now and it can drop 30 tomorrow. You know, I'm just saying, not saying that it will actually drop 30% tomorrow, but it's just how it is. And you can lose money. Yep, it's going up 19. Okay, okay. Marathon oil, 585. It went up 17%. That's good, actually. So if you want to decide to, you know, buy into that, you can just click on it. Press buy. Since it's like what it was, 585, you would <clears throat> click buy, click on the three dots, and put $6. Because you can't put 585 on there. You might want well to just run it out to the nearest whole dollar amount. And you just click next. That's for people, you know, who want to invest in it. And that's all you got to do right there. Once you click schedule, it'll be on there. See, it got tomorrow at 8.30. That's when everything, the stock market open up. It's simple as that. Yep. Okay, in Canada. $5. You really don't have an about me section, but I did look this up, and I really actually forgot what it was, but... Yeah, Hawaiian holding. Okay, that's the airline. Okay, Air, airlines are going up. Okay, you guys, that's the biggest daily movers and the most traded monthly. And my followings are right here. If you see any stock that you want to follow, go ahead. And if you see anyone that you want to invest in, go ahead. Just do your research. But as I was saying earlier, you want to have more positive than you have negatives. Even though I have these negatives right here, you guys, this two, four, six, eight. That does not outweigh my positive because my positive make up that. Even though I'm losing here, I still have way more positives. And I could be gaining on those in the morning. So, you know, you just never know. See, my positives outweigh all the negatives. And yep. That's it. Now, let's go over to this Robinhood app so I can show y'all this free stock. And the after hours. Okay. It says that I'm investing $168 over here which in the past 24 hours it went up $23.15 and after hours it went up overall went up rise was $6.52 okay you yeah, I know y'all still see the numbers turning as of now even though you know it's after hours that's because of my um my cryptocurrencies It's like information they send you every day right here, you guys. The only thing you got to do is just swipe it over, and it'll be gone. When I look at it, you click on it, look at it, but yep, that's it. Okay, these are my current stops, you guys. So, before I even go there, I'm going to show you all the one that I have invested in over here. Let me go to the cryptocurrencies. That's why my that's why you see it still moving because cryptocurrency is still going up and down. It don't stop. I won't say it's the actual stop, but you know, yeah, it don't stop. I bought twenty five thousand five hundred sixty four, and I only invested sixty dollars. And I've gained over $4 on it. 
Yeah, which is good. I'm going to buy some more eventually. These are all the crypto that I'm watching. Really want to buy this, but it's not supported on here, but that's okay. Okay. Let's go to the after hours. Lab court. After hours went down $2.95. That's what caused that drop. These are what causes the drops and rises. Take two. It didn't move at the hour. So these are all my cash app stocks that I'm following on the Robinhood app because I'll be wanting to check the um, after hour. It went up a dollar and thirty four cent after hour beyond meat. It got the potential to be two hundred and thirty nine dollars seventy one cents. So. That's why I'm just I'm gonna hold on to it. Abby, it went down forty eight cents after hours. See y'all, you see where it say fifty two weeks high, a hundred dollar. That's where it can be within fifty two weeks. So it'll be good if it get there though, or even before then. To that so okay it went up 30 cents at the hours and y'all wanted to know if it do dividends or pay you by quarters you see where it said dividends slash yield that's how much yeah that's how much get on the dividends uber went up 32 cents at the hours so that's good Let's go Chesapeake. Now, this is the one I was telling you, you guys about. Chesapeake, even though it went down a total of, what, $7.99 today. Okay, do y'all see the 52 weeks high? $600. $602. That is amazing. That is amazing. They did a stock split, then everything went up. I'm like, man, that, that's some that's amazing. I don't even know it with that before the stock split. But from what I see it now, I mean that that is incredible. So I'm gonna stick around with that. Bar go went up twelve cents after hours. So that's good. You got a Rado Resorts, it went up after hours too. Fifty nine cents. So what I'm doing now, y'all, yeah, we checking the after hours. See how much did it go up or did it go down. Penn National Gaming went up 99 cents after hours. Board Gaming it also went up 73 cents after hour. Yeah. MGM. Okay, it went up some more. After hour went up. 94 cent so that's that's good canopy grow it went up 14 cents after hour 52 week high is 52 dollars and 71 cent 74 cents i'm sorry you guys that would be amazing for this because it's like currently at you see 17 dollars carnival Okay, it went up a dollar and fifteen cents. Yep, that's good. Norwegian went up a dollar and ninety-four cent. Fifty-two weeks high, like fifty-nine dollars and seventy-eight cents. Yeah, it could go low too, you guys. We just we just been on the high right now, so it can, we wanted to go up. We don't want to go down. American Airlines, okay, went up. It went up sixty-two cent. Overstock, it went up twenty-six cent. So I'm scrolling down, so just in case y'all have any questions, do they pay dividends so y'all can see it? You know, Caesar Entertainment went up thirty-three cent after hour. So that's good. 
energy transfer went up 53 cents after hour. Mm. United States still went up 10 cents after hour. That's good. Zinga went up 3 cents after hour. It's almost at the 52 weeks high, so I hope it pass it actually nine cents after hour hmm. what about chronos group okay it went up seven cents well that's that's good you ain't really losing from where it started so that's that's good I'm like two three cents and tarot mid screen went up five cents, so that's great. Yeah. Widening petroleum. Let's see. It went up nine cents. So that's that's good. Fifty two weeks high, twenty eight forty four. Get there. Get the if it get the and it was at a dollar now. Oh my god, I'm gonna be gaining Aurora cannabis. It went up, so that's that's good. If it get a nine dollar, that would be even great. But I got a feeling like I just want that to just rise. Okay, those are all the stocks that I have on Cash App. I just showed y'all the after hours. Now, let me show y'all my free stocks. Right here. All my free stocks. Plug power. That went up three cents. See, I got one share of this, which cost me zero dollars. Because it's free. And that's what you're going to get when you download the Robinhood app. You're going to get a free stock. using It don't cost you nothing. You want to trade it, you can, but, you know, it best to just let it sit and just gain. It was already free. Got Sabre, it went up in 48 cents after I was also. Zero cost. I've got three shares of this for free. For free. Okay, let's go over here. Marathon Oil, like, a, yeah, free, you guys. Zero cost. Free. Southwestern Energy. So it went up a total of 13 cents the whole day. That was free too. I got one share of this. Free stocks. The only thing you have to do is download the Robinhood app. The link is in the description below. Go over there and download and get you some free stock. I got two shares of this at zero cost. Free. And it's going up. Okay, ADT, it went down by a fraction of a penny, but that's good. It was free. I got one share of that. Yep. And that is it. I already showed y'all my Robinhood app, my Robinhood stocks. Yep. So, y'all, download the Robinhood app. It's in the description below. Get your free stock today. Don't wait till tomorrow. Today. Or in the morning. I mean, whatever one. Get your free stock. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you be up in the morning because y'all already know I'm going to be dropping another one. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, like this video, go download Robinhood now.